and welcome to this episode of Keith Morris at the Movies. In this episode, I will review the movie Netflix. I mean, the, the Netflix movie Shirley. And Shirley is a portrayal of a trailblazing political figure, Shirley Chisholm. Shirley can be classified as a historical, biographical, political drama. This movie centers around Shirley Chisholm, who, and, and you might ask, who was Shirley Chisholm? She was the first black congresswoman and the first black woman to run for president of the United States of America. And this story tells, this movie tells the story of Chisholm's historic presidential campaign run. And it covers mostly her presidential run in the 1970s and focuses primarily in 1972. The movie is based on conversations with the family and friends and those who knew Shirley Chisholm the most. And something of note about Shirley, this movie is, Shirley is the final appearance of Lance Reddick before his untimely death on March 17th of 2023. And Lance Reddick is known for roles in the movie John Wick as Mr. Sharon. He also played Bosch. And most of us known him for his role as Lieutenant Cedric Daniels in The Wire. Um, as you know, Wire, The Wire was based on, on the events in um, Baltimore, Maryland. And Lance, by the way, was born in Baltimore. Um, Shirley was directed by John Ridley, and John Ridley is known for 12 Years a Slave, Three Kings, Undercover Brother, and now Shirley. Now Shirley co was co-produced by actress Regina King with her sister, Raina King. And the, the King sisters have a company that strives to tell stories about black people that a lot of people never heard about or may have forgotten about. And I find this wonderful and something to be proud of and something I definitely can support. Um, Shirley stars Regina King as Shirley and um, Terrence Howard as Arthur, Lance Reddick as Wesley, and a host of others. I always enjoy learning about people, places, things, and events. And I love documentaries because I love to learn. And this movie was well written, did not disappoint. It accomplished its primary mission, which um, was to introduce a, a large number of people to Shirley Chisholm and to highlight her accomplishments. It is a testament that a little known school teacher from New York City can run for a local office in New York City, then use that as a stepping stone to become a US Congresswoman who would eventually run for president of the United States of America. I also like politics and this movie spotlights her presidential campaign. It was very fascinating to see how the run went, and ultimately how it unfolded. For fans of Congressman Ron Dellums and D.C. politician Walter Fauntleroy, or Reverend Fauntleroy, it may be a bitter pill to swallow. They were not portrayed admirably in this movie and took a few hits. Um, politics is a contact sport. It's a blood sport. And for many of the most successful, it seems like they play it like a blood sport where the winner takes all, and that would be the last person standing. Um, Shirley had a lot of challenges, and one of the things the movie did was showed how not only was Shirley battling racism, but also sexism, and even from her own people. Um, one of the things I believe we have to be careful of is allowing <laughs> black women and black men to be pitted against each other. Um, this serves none of us well, and in the end, the house divided um, cannot prevail. It will fall. And one of the things that was disturbing is how in the movie Shirley was upset because she could not get the men, black men, to support her campaign like she thought they should. And I think this is dangerous. Um, we saw this play out in Georgia as many and St. Stacy Adams tried to pin her loss on the lack of support of black men, even though black men are right behind black women when it comes to supporting the Democratic Party. Instead of blaming a group for not supporting you, it's your job to find out what that group needs and to get their support. This is what aggravates me about the Democratic Party. Trust me, I'm no fan of what is going on with the Republican Party as they keep moving closer and closer to white supremacy and fascism and white nationalism. I can't even say closer, they're, they're there. But to use fear to coerce someone to vote for you instead of running on what you have done on your record and what you will do in office that will help that group is not, not the answer either. And I find that piece of the movie disturbing. 
My rating of this movie is four out of five fat fingers. That's four out of five fat fingers. Um, it told a story that if you're like me, will make you dig a little deeper and find out a little more about Shirley Chisholm, a true um, great woman, uh, remarkable, truly remarkable woman. And that's it for me. Peace, I'm out.